Hey, it's Nostalogic here to talk about another topic. We're going to be talking about boosting your stream on Twitch and, you know, where I feel like Twitch is really screwing up right now. Let's talk about growing as a content creator and why this entire situation frustrates me so much. In order to grow on Twitch, I am a person who believes that the worst thing you could be doing is streaming all of the time. Streaming does not grow your content. You're just live streaming, you're not gonna grow. It's impossible, it's an ocean of people out there. You have to utilize other sites, other resources, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, right? And then put lower thirds that reference back to your live content, your live stream. If that's what you wanna do, if that's what you're trying to grow is your live stream, you have to go and grow on other platforms. Wait a minute, that's kind of confusing. Cause then when you grow on other platforms, you're also growing on those platforms and you're increasing your reach there as well. Which then kind of makes you wonder, why would I keep streaming on Twitch if I just grow my YouTube out, right? So there's all sorts of issues that are kind of in this nebulous thing, right? And it's my responsibility as a content creator to grow. It's my responsibility to get eyes on my stream and I do that my own way. So with that kind of being thrown out there as this intro into this video, let's get into actually dissecting what they said in the Twitch patch notes stream, and let's talk about what it is that they're planning on doing, and it should actually be going right now because it's the 4th of October, and it's going for another four weeks, and let's just see what it is that they have to say about it. When we started our initial boost ex uh, boost challenge experiment experiment last December, we were thrilled with the community reception. And since that time, I'm okay. happy to report that we've- Do you know why everybody was thrilled? It was free. You used channel points. Everyone was excited about it because it was free. Had over 100,000 total boosts. It's been- By the way, 100,000 total boosts. So like my friend, for instance, that uses the free boost option, Baby gets three a week, right? So this is a very small user base. And considering that this person has had access to it for a couple of months, you're looking at like 15 to 16 recommendations just in a month, maybe even two months. So it's not actually that large of a sample, but let's continue to go and see what they really say. Really exciting to see the community using this product to support streamers. That promotion aspect is something that creators talk about quite a bit. Now, you and the teams have been working on this for quite a bit over the past uh, years. By the way, he just said something about streamers talk about it quite a bit. Streamers talk about it quite a bit because they feel like on Twitch, they have no exposure. Like there is nothing, there's nothing that differentiates you from anyone else on this platform. And I mean, that's a whole different conversation. But my point is, is that you just, the reason people are talking about it is because it's not there. So, and as you mentioned, it was originally an experiment. So I'm guessing that you've learned quite a bit over that experiment over the last uh, year. Okay. They went that's really fast weird. right there. For those of you who missed it, maybe I should just rewind 10 seconds. I'm gonna go back to this, watch this. I'm gonna try and pause it was originally right on there. There's a so boost thing up there. Someone learned... clicks it and then boom, here are your options. Your options are to be the first to boost and the boost size right now it's, and it looks like it's 99 cents per 1000 recommendations. That's not impressions, that's not click throughs. That is just you appearing on 1000 people's front page. The page that everyone I know ignores and clicks through to who they're following and doesn't look at the content in the middle. That's what you're paying for. Ability promotions for their favorite creators. And these types of placements come with a cost. We think this is a great way to show support. First I just realized something. The reason that they're charging people is because they're bumping content off of people's front page off of everyone's front page that a game company might have paid for, correct? So like, for instance, let's say Xbox has an agreement with them, like we're gonna get so much of your front page time um, a month, right? So think of like grocery stores and product placement at grocery stores. I don't know if people know this or not, but grocery stores actually make the majority of their money through selling placement of product on shelves, right? So like on top of a, sh like the very top shelf, 
usually has a lot lower cost. Same with the bottom shelf. That eye level shelf is what costs the most. It gets the most exposure. That's how grocery stores generate a lot of revenue, right? And so what they're what he just said right there is that there is a cost to this. And I think what they're trying to do is pass the buck off on people for the content that they were normally getting X amount of revenue a month for. They're trying to find a way to get that revenue. But my real opinion is, is maybe they were losing revenue from game companies realizing that it wasn't worth it. And so now they're like, how can we get money off of that front page? We weren't getting it anymore because that that died off. So how can we find a way to monetize it? Let's monetize this. That's, that's exactly what I'm seeing. We've heard directly from creators that it's hard to get their names out there. It's hard to try and utilize different forms of social media to grow their channels. And our hope is that a more direct way for a viewer to help creator to help a creator do that. Growing on Twitch, like you have to use everything else, but every other platform out there, you can just be on that platform and grow on that platform. This is a Twitch inherent issue that they are refusing to figure out. They are refusing to come up with a fix that is a site overhaul. Like Twitch's site hasn't changed in years. And the reason that they seem so afraid to do this is because they have to do it in gradual increments. And we're talking like months, right? Like small little changes over courses of months just to get people to not lose their mind over an overhaul of the site. And then on top of that, you're talking about a complete cultural shift because we need to also get people to be exposed to content creation of live streaming through things like a feed of some sort where I'm no longer on the site just to consume live streaming content. I'm also on there to discover new people that I want to check out. And because that doesn't exist, their solution, instead of doing a site overhaul and coming up with new opportunities, was to monetize their current front page, which is a turd. Will creators get paid a part of the money that viewers pay for boost? They won't. Uh and there's the big one. So now someone feels like they're supporting your channel and they're spending $3. They probably expect you to receive some form of compensation for that. And then also for Twitch to do the impressions or if I'm sorry for the recommendations, right? And that dude just straight up was like, they won't. Like they ain't getting nothing. This is a, this is a money grab. This is Twitch. We are here for the moolah, baby. Which by the way, anyone who thinks that they're not in it for money, you're silly. Okay, companies go into business to make money. We get it, but it's just the idea of the optics. It's the optics. Optics is the new thing in 2021. It's all about appearance. It's not about facts. It's about appearance. How does it look, right? And so this looks greedy. So that's basically it. That's basically what they're saying. So now it's time for me to actually do my rant, right? My, my scratchy beard rant here. The, the the one takeaway that I see from this, and this, this is, I'm trying not to be angry. I'm trying to be constructive, but this is gonna be my jab. Twitch sucks at promoting people. So they're gonna charge your viewer base to promote you really poorly. That's it. That's the tweet, send it. If you really want to help someone grow, subscribe and follow and like and retweet and share and whatever you can, whatever content that they have out there. And it will be infinitely more useful than spending $3 to put them on a front page for someone who's gonna never pay attention to it. <sighs> My blood pressure's going up. Have fun, stay casually sweaty, keep streaming, do what you got to do. Thanks for watching the video. Hey, I hope you liked what you just watched. If you want to see some of my other videos, then look no further. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you can get notifications when new videos come out. Stay casually sweaty out there.